Uh, Epoch Times. Epoch Times, yeah. They're, they're interviewing me today at 3 o'clock again down in, in uh, Long Beach. I am their candidate. I am endorsed by Epoch News, Ta Epoch Times. Paul Taylor, you're running on what uh, line? I'm, I'm running for a U.S. Senator against Dianne Feinstein, Kevin DeLeon, as a Republican candidate. Okay. But what what line are, are, you, are you running, What under what party? Oh, the Republican Party, of course. I've been a, a registered Republican for 48 years. So who's Mr. DeLeon? Mr. DeLeon's a Democrat, the one who boasts about uh, his family being in this country illegally. Uh, uh, he's behind all the stuff that is contrary to what our Constitution says. He doesn't like our Constitution. He doesn't like our borders. He's pro-sanctuary uh, world. <laughs> he's part of the global environment, the globalists. And he is bad for America. And he wants to get into the uh, U.S. Senate so he can badger the second greatest president this country ever had behind George Washington, Donald Trump. Uh why is California so Democrat in their voting? 50 years of indoctrination, 50 years of it. And I heard you talking to that girl earlier about the Hispanics coming here. Well, when they come here and they get the ones that can vote and they go through their uh, process to get their citizenship, the Democrats jump on them right there, sign them up, and they check them off as Democrats. They, and they appear to be the, the, the party for the people. But now the Democratic Party is what they're doing is they're getting rid of the uh, Roosevelt de Democrats like uh, Dianne Feinstein, the older ones, to, so they could replace it with the progressive movement, which is totally against our Constitution, against our president, against our morality. And in Hispanics, they all, most of them are raised Catholics. They know right from wrong. They know the Ten Commandments. And, and, they, and he's against that stuff. Um, what does illegal immigration cost California annually? I don't know the dollars and cents and who does. You, you can't quantify it. But what it's done is it's taken this state to be in the fifth, the 50th worst state of quality of life out of all 50 states in, in the United States. It's the lowest one. It's costing us, it's going to, it will eventually bankrupt the state. And it's bankrupt in our morals. In fact, it's, uh, it's part of the reason why my son is selling his house. He's having an open house today up in Couch Valley, California, moving to Texas so he doesn't raise his two. My grandsons here in, in California has gotten that bad. And I'm here to fight it. That's why I'm 66 years old. I'm not afraid to stand and fight it. You know, I've been here my entire life. I'm a Californian. And so uh, the, the sanctuary city and all that stuff and all those costs, all of our welfare program, it is proven that, that socialism is the, the basis for it. Socialism is the doorstep to communism. It has failed at every experiment in every country around the world. And it winds up with blood on the streets. Every place that communism has established itself has been found with blood on the streets. It's going on right now in Nicaragua. Just right today, they're killing Nicaraguans, okay? Yeah. Well, it seems like uh, there's a violence on the streets of America. If there were uh, liberals uh, in favor of socialism here, there'd be fist fights and, uh, and people be hitting each other with flags. Because of the they're, they're not for moral fiber. You know, right now our, our governor is trying to kill uh, the use of our Bible. He's trying to silence along with uh, Lyndon Johnson. They came up with the Johnson Amendment to gag pastors to be able to talk to their people and their churches from his pulpit about the truth of what's going on in our politics. And, and now they're still working on it because our president, Donald Trump, right now is undoing the uh, Johnson Amendment. So now our governor, Governor uh, uh, Jerry Brown, who is a... Um, uh, Catholic priest, or uh, I forget what he is. It's a. Uh, any rate, he is wanting to end uh, the ability for our pastors to talk about gays. Now, the, in a free country, anyone could speak their mind, and that's I'll protect anybody with the First Amendment rights. But the thing is, is that when five percent or less than that of our population controls the other ninety-five percent, that is not democracy. They have a gag order on America, and they're going into our churches and telling our pastors they can't talk against uh, uh, transgenders or anything that the Bible talks about, and they want to gag the Bible. And, and, and that is a, the disregard for our freedom, our constitutional rights. And why? Because they are Marxists. That is the, mar the, the basis of Marxism, is to gag the people. 
In China, you can't do that. You can't talk against your government. You, they, you, they take you to prison. Okay. Thank you very much. Good, good luck in your race. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. All right. See you.